Thank you, trustees. Our first recognition tonight goes to Mr. Albert Avila of the maintenance department. Mr. Avila will come forward. Mr. Avila is being recognized with our IMEPISD award uh, for making several trips to Bradley Elementary for fixing a recurring plumbing issue. Mr. Avila showed up to Bradley with a smile on his face each visit. He was not nominated by the principal at Bradley who said, quote, I appreciate Mr. Avila's dedication to his job and most importantly to Bradley Elementary. Thank you, Mr. Avila. Our next recognition tonight is for Ms. Edith Velasco, who served two terms as president of the EPISD Council of PTAs. Prior to being elected president, she was the aide to the council president. She created the GEM Award, or Going the Extra Mile, to honor PTAs for their achievements. Ms. Velasco also has ensured that presenters at the Council of PTA meetings are more in line with parent education, and it is related to district policies, parent rights, and Texas education laws. Thank you to Ms. Velasco. <laughs> Next, we'd like to recognize some students of Brown Middle School for winning first and second place at the regional competition of the Texas Council of Economic Education, SIFMA Stock Market Game. <laughs> the Stock Market Game is an education educational simulation design to develop math, personal finance, writing, research, and critical thinking skills while educating students on the stock market and American economic system. For the 2017-18 school year, approximately 20,000 Texas students in grades 4 through 12 participated in the competition. We'd like to welcome Mariah Munoz, who won first place. And our second place winners, Jesus Palacios. Genevieve Medina and Carlos Moreno. And the students are joined by Ms. Enlo, their principal. And thank you to our Brown Middle School students. And finally tonight, we have a special recognition for our uh, district speech pathologists and our staff of the Regional Day School for the Deaf, if I could ask them to come forward, those who are here. May has been designated as Better Hearing and Speech Month. We have more than 60 speech therapists who work hard to provide services uh, to EPISD students, representing the speech pathologists and our regional day school, are Nancy Ramirez and Jason Lilly, as well as some of our other staff.
Thank you for your service and commitment to our students. And that concludes our recognitions tonight.